what's going on guys Alamazi here and today we've got some pretty awesome information to talk about so earlier this afternoon right before i actually went to the gym was going to go to the grocery store there was a handful of things i guess class buffs mentioned and i was surprised i was really surprised because i didn't think there'd really be any buffs coming out at this point we had a few last week the week before and i assume with 9.1 probably being something that was going to happen or is going to happen over the course of the next few weeks month heading into blizzcon virtual blizzcon then raid testing i didn't really expect there to be a whole lot more class changes but blizzard regardless did push more class tuning for this reset being next tuesday wednesday depending where you are now i can't really hide this here so we're gonna scroll through here hmm, warlock's not highlighted hmm. hmm anyways so initially there were changes to death knight demon hunter hunter uh hunter both bm and survival it's very real there's only one spec at this point mage rogue shaman warrior pretty much every single class sorry shut up reason you know but there was no warlock here i actually know so i'm not one to really get angry about class buffs tuning buffs and nerfs and all that affliction is indeed performing pretty well this tier as we can see now i will say i don't think affliction needs a nerf i i really don't think it's as strong necessarily as it seems but regardless looking at most of the classes that they had pushed basically tuning for initially havoc demon hunter frost death knight frost mage assassination rogue frost death knight's above warlock havoc demon hunter is above warlock assassinations down here warriors down here full hunter specs suck we get that but like tldr destro was down here and the fact of the matter is, is that demonology as well demo's also being propped up by these weird health scaling parses and things like that but putting all that aside Destro's been in an odd state basically since launch. In later beta, they nerfed Reign of Chaos, they nerfed Wilfrid's, and that's really all Destro had going for it in the first place because it was a really good AoE spec and plus, and you had your Infernal every minute and a half or so. But outside of that, your single target damage still wasn't very good, unless you had your Infernal, and then you didn't have it for the next AoE pack. But Destro's been in an odd state for a while. Now, I'm not saying this was me, it probably wasn't me, let's be fair, but I mean, normally I'm one to actually ignore this kind of stuff, but i mean after two full posts of class buffs all right i, I figured we go to twitter and uh i was pretty angry i was actually gonna make a video about the pretty <sighs> angry is not the right word disappointed is the word i would use i was going to make a video as to why destro and i mean demo and we'll get to that at another point but as to why destro really actually truly needs a buff and it's not that it's just underperforming or underrepresented well i mean it, it, it is underperforming it just needs a buff then i went to the store and I saw this. We decided to initially change one thing. Warlock, destruction, all abilities buffed by five. Now, is this truly my doing? No, uh, it's not, but it's pretty awesome to see. So indeed what we're getting to today, destruction warlock, all damage abilities, damaging abilities, however you want to word it, increased by 5%. Now I'm going to say number one, 5% might not seem like a whole lot, but it's a lot more than it actually seems. You have some classes like Frost Mage. Uh, we have Havoc Demon Hunter getting 3% buffs, and those are also substantial buffs, but 5% is a lot more than it seems. This is a buff to every single ability that Destruction Warlock has, cast, pets, dots, you know, incinerate main damaging spells. It's everything. So I have compiled a list of many, many Sims. I, I talked to Az in the Warlock Discord. Thank you again for the help, for giving me the custom APL, whatever it is, I don't know what it's called, to actually replicate the 5% damage buff to dots, pets, direct damage spells. I have run million, well, I guess technically millions of sims. I have the answers you're looking for. So before we get into that, I want to show you guys pretty much what we were simming with. So I took, if you're, you're going to see a few affliction sims here, I took my normal affliction sim playing this set of gear here, just initially to compare it to single target destro two target destro even three target destro post buff uh pre-buff post buff all of that when it comes to simming conduits for destruction we simmed three now i sim the actual ranks that i have being infernal brand duplicitous havoc ash and remains at 213 200 200 i will have a link to all the sims down in the video description maybe pinned in the comment section one of the two if you want to look through all of them for all of the affliction sims we played focus malignancy and cold embrace for the desperate ones we played ash and remains on everything and in two or plus two plus targets we played dupl duplicitous havoc ash and remains uh or a mix of infernal brand you'll see them they're all indicated in the actual sims now gearing wise for affliction i played the synergy helm that i have right now it's the best legendary you can make for affliction that's fine for the reign of chaos sims 
unless it's indicated on the actual sim i played wilfords on bracers however i increased the item level to 235 so it's not a rank three it's a rank four you'll also notice i'm playing a 207 helm in game i increased the item level on this helm to 226 so the destro sims with wilfreds are playing 235 rank four wilfreds and 226 helm for the actual cinders of azakir the triple conflict sims we are playing rank four 226 legs and we're also playing uh 226 helm and 226 socket bracer. so everything is a mythic eye level there's no weird gear disparity the conduits are the same let's get into the actual sims okay so starting things off here i want to skim through castle nathria for destruction warlocks briefly to give a general idea premise of what we're looking at in these sims so this is pure destro locks in actual castle nathria looking at rank one shriek wing or yeah we have 5064 dps very quickly if we sort to affliction warlocks uh there's gonna be a little bit of a dps disparity Destro was 5k top parse affliction is uh 6200 so this buff is definitely needed definitely warranted even though that's just a single target fight so going back to Destro warlocks the things that i wanted to keep consistent in the sims number one ashen remains ashen remains is a very strong conduit for Destro pretty much you're going to have Emily on whatever targets you're hitting so your chaos bolt and incinerate just deal more damage which incinerate scaling with roaring blaze all that good to go now combusting engine is a conduit you see played about evenly with infernal brand depending on your soul bind or whatever else you're doing here there's a bit of trading back and forth on single target fights two target fights obviously infernal brand gains more value in aoe or when you're playing wilfreds and things like that legendaries here you see a little bit of synergy a good bit of Cinders of Azek here. You'll see a little bit of Wilfred's, I would assume, down here. Actually not, to be fair. Oh, well, there you go. That's Destro. But regardless, the main thing here, conduit-wise, we want it to be consistent with Ashen Remains. You do see a bit of a split here between Dark Soul and Channel Demon Fire. Now, they're very, very close single target. A lot of this will come down to kill times and things, too, depending which you want to play. But we did indeed factor in Dark Soul instability into these sims as well. So starting off in the first half here now like i have a lot of sims that i've run here once again i'll have i will have all the profiles that i ran probably pinned somewhere i'll, ha I'll have all the sims posted in the comment section below we will see the custom overrides and all those things so starting off with the first actual sim here this is my by the way you have to run advanced sims on raid bots to see to, to run like custom override spell data modifiers and stuff you can't actually run quick sims or top gear sims i'm sorry just wait it is so this is my pure single target affliction sim currently now we can break 6k i'm not playing i'm not playing my iqd cube trinket here i don't think it's worth it i don't want to i'm not trying to inflate sims we're playing siphon drain soul singularity haunt dark soul malignancy cold embrace rank six rank five this is going to be the same consistent profile synergy rank four across every single sim you see here as affliction so going back here this is affliction an hour ago in sims this is destruction single target pre-buff playing ashen remains and infernal brand conduit 5153 dps if you go to the actual report here once again we can confirm that flash over entropy kata roaring blaze channel demon fire now once again you can play a little bit of dark soul here but i think cdf just to play when it comes to single target for the most part without having like weird kill times taken into account ashen remains infernal brand rank six rank five Grimbale pants being centers of Azakir, rank four, triple con flag, grove invigoration, Nia. We're good to go. So looking at these two sims, there's obviously a bit of a DPS disparity. This sim here compares the two. This is pre-buff. So affliction single target wise in sims, taking my own character, keeping all the eye-level gearing, everything the same across different legendaries, is about a 700 or so DPS increase over playing Destro single target. Now, there's a bit of give and take here, right? F is obviously much more mobile. You can recast dots, you can reapply dots and move. Destro doesn't have that mobility. You can pretty much cast Conflag on the move. But if you're Conflagging on the move, then it means you're probably not maximizing your Roaring Blaze up time. Outside of that, you really don't have a whole lot of options. Now, also, the, the CD timings on the specs can be different depending on what you're doing. F has Dark Caller, but typically you play Haunt. Destro has Wilfreds, but you're normally playing Cinder, so there's a bit of give and take there. We'll get more into the, when we get to the more advanced sims down here, we'll get into the, uh, I guess, duration disparity between the two. But pre-buff, Affliction was about 700 or so DPS ahead for me playing that build you just saw. Post-buff, pure single target. Affliction is about 447 DPS ahead of Destro single target. Once again, 
playing the exact same builds here all i did was copy and paste the the two builds from here and add in the actual modifier to give destro a flat five percent damage increase you can also once again look through the sim if you want to go into comment the videos comment section and click through there so we're looking at about i mean an eight percent percent difference favoring affliction now i will say it's not as grim as it seems here boys stay with me here stay with me obviously affliction has been the best spec for warlock pretty much all of you know shadowlands which is just the first tier at this point but it's pretty much the best spec in plus it is the best spec in the raid and if your guild is going for any kind of goal like a uh, hall of fame or has some kind of goal in mind that your guild is striving for i personally feel you should be playing the best spec in that fight if your guild if your guild's going for cutting edge before the tier is over and they don't care what you play i play what you want it's fine but if your guild's going for hall of fame or like i said some kind of goal where you're actively pushing you should be playing the best spec you should be playing affliction on every single fight if that's the case however this buff has indeed closed the gap i mean you're looking at about a 260 dps game for destro single target but destro is not necessarily built around being our best powerhouse single target spec if you compare af destro and demo i would say looking at how their toolkits are structured demonology is probably the actual spec that is best suited thematically for single target damage followed by af and then destro destro's toolkit destro's toolkit is pretty much you can do good single target damage but you have your infernal with insane immolation or aoe you have havoc which makes you arguably the king of two target cleave whenever you have havoc so the single target sims here are important to see the gap has been closed a bit but the interesting thing happens or things get in more interesting when you start looking at two target sims so this is destro and it gets a little more advanced here stay with me guys I'll, I'll decode it all for you i'll decipher everything this is pre-buff affliction versus destro two targets five minutes right same thing focus malignancy hold embrace destro two target pre-buff roaring blaze rb is roaring blaze ar Ashen remains and this is dh duplicitous havoc this is not demon hunter this is the weird conduit that gives you an increase to your havoc damage and nobody likes the playing this is that conduit duplicitous havoc destro two target pre-buff reign of chaos so this is roaring blaze this is reign of chaos the roaring blaze sims here these are all playing uh the triple conflict legendary unless it indicates otherwise which you'll see i believe i have one here Maybe a little further further down the line that is actually playing roaring blaze with Wilfred's. but regardless roaring blaze cinders you can also pull up the profile once again just going in here that's your two target pre-buff right there and you will see cinders there you go so like i said this is actually pre-buff this is the normal damage you have in game right now these buffs go live on tuesday so what you have right now is what is, is basically this f is ahead by a pretty substantial bit you're ahead of you're i mean you're ahead by pretty much 550 damage and it might be a lot more challenging to play af when it comes to two targets because of siphon life and sc management and all that but it certainly has a rewarding upside being this far ahead in dps af two target followed by destro two target playing roaring blaze ashen remains and duplicitous havoc this is for the most part what i expected roaring blaze with cinders gives you you know triple con flags much higher uptime on roaring blaze on two targets when you're havocing duplicitous havoc damage increase it's just solid this is what i expected to be the highest for destro at this point even though i haven't really run destro sims in a while number three destro two target pre-buff reign of chaos cinders so i actually have reign of chaos wilfred's in here for both now cinders i mean Honestly, it's something just because it's two targets. Duplicitous Havoc, Cinders, faster cast in your Havoc window. There's a bit of a DPS discrepancy here, but I will say right now, the big thing when running Wilfred Sims, which we'll see in a bit here, once we get to the further Sims, fight time is very, very, very important. A five minute Sim is not very flattering when it comes to playing Wilfred's as Destro. It's not. And it'll vary a bit depending on how many targets, one, two, three, resource generation, more resource generation means more rain of fire cast, more chaos bolts, more infernals, you know, shorter cooldown duration on your infernal due to Wilfred. So there's a lot of give and take here. So keep that in mind. Moving on to the pre-buff. So essentially you have a 567 difference, DPS difference between the best Destro build and the highest AF build. Moving on to post-buff. It's 203. 
Destro definitely is closing the window here when it comes to two, to when it comes to two target sims a good bit you saw in single target i mean it, it was behind by a by a bit more i mean you're looking at a 447 dps difference or so in single target when it comes to two target post buff that window is certainly being closed two target roaring blaze ashen remains duplicitous havoc followed by we actually added this in here too two target post buff roaring blades roaring blaze dark soul instability all these sims here are also playing shell demon fire unless it's indicated by DSI. So basically everything is CDF. Dark Soul instability, actually gaining a bit of ground here. Now, once again, fight duration will indeed come into play a bit. I'm actually a bit surprised that Wilfridge wasn't high here, but then I realized, oh, it's a five minute sim. But the big thing, it's really closing the gap post buff. You're looking at a 600 DPS difference compared to 200. It's a 5% buff. I mean, when you're in your Havoc window, it's just going to be that much more impactful. You've got two target Roaring Blaze, Ashen Remains, Duplicitous Havoc, two target Roaring Blaze, Dark Soul. So Channel Demon Fire is beating us out by a little bit. Now, I will say, if the targets are not stacked and you're not getting Channel Demon Fire cleave value, I'd play Dark Soul. I'd opt for Dark Soul in that setting. If you have like a, a not stacked council based fight, you know, like uh, like Huntsman Altimore, for example, if the dog is pulled out from the raid and you're Havoking, I would rather have a Dark Soul there than a Channel Demon Fire because of, well, the lack of channel demon fire cleave uh, followed by two target post buff reign of chaos cinders cinders by Isaac here this is basically saying reign of chaos is being simmed here over roaring blaze this is pretty much the same sim right here roaring blaze versus reign of chaos they're both playing cinders there's a bit of a dps discrepancy here roaring blaze is simming about 130 oh, sorry 150 dps higher than reign of chaos is which i mean is sort of to be expected give or take a little bit because of the extra added bonus to havoc windows and things like that now Moving on though, next sim, three targets. So you don't necessarily encounter three target settings very often in Nathria. Looking at Nathria, I'm trying to think. You obviously have Stone Legion Generals. You have certain points in specific fights where you have multiple ads present. Legion Generals, you have Sun King Salvation. What else do we have? You hunt some Baltimore's two target, pretty much. You're not going to count the Shades of Bargast. But there are times where there are three or more stack targets, more so when you're getting into Mythic Plus and things like that. But it's still important to know. And honestly, it's really cool to see here as well. Now, I, by the way, I would not recommend Destro on Soul Legion Generals, uh, that Mythic, that, that fights a nightmare in itself. Anyways, so this is pre-buff. Destro three target, pre-buff, Roaring Blaze. Affliction is ahead by about, oh, about 338 DPS. Once again, three boss targets, five minutes. Reign of Chaos Wilfrids actually pulled ahead here a bit. You see Roaring Blaze down here. Big difference here between the last sim, even, even actually post nerf or post buff because of Roaring Blaze being really good in two target cleave. Whenever you go into your Havoc window, you con flag, have that buff up. Basically every spell you're cranking is either a fire spell or a big Chaos Bolt. And Chaos Bolt is a part of these buffs. Reign of Chaos pulling ahead. Closest thing behind AF2 target is Reign of Chaos Wilfrids. So you do see Wilfrids gaining a good bit of value here. Three targets, more resource generation. Three targets, more emulation aura value, more infernal procs being more relevant. Ashen remains, duplicitous havoc here. Post buff. Post buff. Affliction's not number one anymore. <laughs> Affliction's not up there anymore. Destro three target post buff reign of chaos Wilfrids ashen remains duplicitous havoc now listen if you want to run your own sim playing inferno brand in duplicitous havoc you can do that inferno brand will gain more value and lose more value depending on the fight duration here once again so it's also important to keep that in mind if I'm in, if I'm in mythic plus I'm playing inferno brand that's just how it's going to be but either way three target post buff sims destruction pulls ahead affliction by about 100 or so dps comparatively to pre to uh, pre-buff, you're looking at about a 350 DPS or so loss. These are the exact same parameters. Five bosses, or five five minutes, three bosses, same thing. Random Chaos Wilfrids gaining a good bit of value here. Interestingly enough though, three target post-buff Reign of Chaos Cinders also being a decent bit ahead here. So Reign of Chaos obviously gaining a lot of value. Once again, the 5% buff does indeed translate over to Reign of Chaos as well. So it gets even more powerful in these three plus target scenarios. Now we didn't run four or five target sims. That's just, you know, something in itself. But it's really, really, really cool to see that Destro with these buffs is actually scaling decently in three target settings, actually pulling ahead compared to where it was before. So like I said, looking at the single target sim here, okay, free buff, 
post buff it might not look as exciting but destro is built in my opinion destro's toolkit it's okay for single target but it's more built for that two target cleave that on-demand burst to target cleave or having you know that that chill demon fire cataclysm stacked burst window Catac you know pre-cast your cata into your infernal ran a fire cdf and just go and you can actually see that reflected in the sims right here it's actually pretty cool to see random chaos and wilfred's gaining value in these three target sims i mean once again three target fights aren't really one you encounter a whole lot in raiding and when you do they're more or less add fights like sun king salvation and let's be real here sun king is sort of a single target dps check and hps check in disguise but either way these three target sims do indeed have merit but the one thing that i touched on a lot over the course of i guess the last 10 minutes or so is fight length fight length is very very important for destro for f as well at times but destro uses wilfred's and wilfred's is how, how do you put this wilfred's is more relevant to destro than it is for affliction hands down uh a, dark, a cooldown reduction is much more relevant to Destro than it is for Aff pretty much as well. You have Dark Caller, you have the option of playing Wilfred's for Aff, but reducing your Dark Lair cooldown doesn't really do as much as it does for for Destruction because Destruction, most of its damage is based around your Infernal. Even looking back in BFA, you had you had Grimoire Supremacy and that was like, hey, I do insane damage during my Infernal and then I'm a Wet Noodle. Uh, well, that that is sort of similar to what we have in Shadowlands. So I wanted to run a handful of Sims with varying fight duration and things get really interesting at this point. So starting off here in the first Sim, Destro two target pre-buff. You can ignore the Roaring Blaze thing here, it's fine. Because there's Roaring Blaze and Random Chaos. So this is pre-buff, three minute Sims on two targets. Once again, Aff being uh, number one here by about, I don't know, 600 or so DPS. Looking back to, if we can find this here, uh, this is actually the five minute sim here. So Aff is like way back. So this is Aff being ahead by about 550 DPS at five minutes. This is Aff being ahead by about 600 at three minutes. Now, interestingly enough, you still have Destro two target, pre-bluff, Roaring Blaze, all this stuff here. Moving on, post buff though, three minutes, two boss targets. Destro really closes the gap here a lot. And also interestingly enough, looking back to like the pre post buff sims here, when we sim Dark Soul, yeah, Dark Soul is valuable here. This is the five minute sim, but look at the three minute sim right here, post buff. Dark Soul actually gains more value than Roaring Blaze. It's a hundred DPS more than Roaring Blaze, which is very, very interesting. Now, I would actually be really, really, it would make more sense to me here Honestly, if we, if this is like a three and a half minute sim or well, more or less a three minute sim, but running Wilfred's. However, this this year, Destro 2 target post buff, Roaring Blaze, Dark Soul instability is actually not running Wilfred's. This is the only one we have here. It's, it's still running Sinners of Azek here. Now you can just sort of see how valuable actually having your Dark Soul with your first Infernal is. And if you look further down here, Wilfred's does indeed gain some value at three minute, three minute mark. F is still ahead but it's not ahead by a crazy amount it's ahead by well i mean 119 dps which is what i guess like yeah 1.4 percent but you have this is this is only this is two targets this is not three targets it's not anything else Destro's really close here and there are going to be a handful of fights on heroic or if you're rating mythic even at certain points later on in the tier that are going to last you know three minutes three and a half minutes give or take a little bit and they might be two target fights especially in plus or in you know heroic rating for trying to parse so this is actually really relevant seeing the roaring blaze cdf timing versus roaring blaze and dark soul seeing the actual dps disparity here three minute sim two boss targets moving on a two minute 35 sim now i actually wanted to run this sim because this will more or less ensure that we at least get a portion, a portion here of an Infernal. And you do see compared to the three minute sim here that Wilfred's does gain a bit, a bit of value. You're looking at about what, 8374 for Wilfred's on two boss targets. So, I mean, there's a bit of a DPS disparity here for two and a half minutes versus three, but still Wilfred's gains more value here. It's only about 200 DPS off of Affliction being the highest here. And there's Roaring Blaze, Dark Soul instability still really, really close here. There's a 78 DPS difference. It's actually closing the gap. I mean, almost even more here. It, it's really, really close. It, it's really closing the gap by a, a, a considerable margin, less than hundred DPS at this point. Moving on to a three minute, 15 second sim. So this is essentially getting you about half of your infernal at 315 look at this destro two target post buff dark soul instability 
Destro 2 Darker Post buff Roaring Blaze with Channel Demon Fire, both playing Duplicitous Havoc, obviously, with Ash and Remains. Look where Aft's at. Aft's way down here, man. Destro's ahead by about 300 or so DPS and two target Sims at the 315 mark. That's a, it's on, it's really impressive. Like looking at relative DPS, you're looking at 4% more DPS playing Destro with this build against, you know, like a normal AF build and two targets. And this, this AF build is the same one that's been simming here. We simmed here, we simmed here, we simmed here. It's the same one. So you can see the actual difference when it comes to fight length. Now, once again, you have Wilfred's being right about here. And I'll be honest with you, Wilfred's in, in SimCraft is a bit hard to gauge because there's a bit less resource gen, a bit more resource gen. It's hard to say after dying, in raid they aren't dying in sims there's a bit of give and take there wilfred's is represented here but regardless you can see the difference between like fight duration here 315 getting half your next infernal dark souls actually getting a good bit of value which is really really surprising now a 32 dps difference is not a crazy amount when you're looking at an 8000 sim but once again if these targets aren't stacked because this, this is cdf roaring blaze cdf if these aren't stacked at all then you're not getting this value Dark Souls ahead regardless. So, I mean, that's actually pretty cool to see. Moving on here, though. These are all two targets. A 325 sim. Well, adding in that 10 seconds means that Affliction is going to pretty much get most of the value or a good bit of the value out of its star glare. So, Aft does indeed, number one, overtake Destro 2 target, Roaring Blaze, Dark Souls, and Stability by about 133 DPS here. And all you're looking at is quite literally a 10 second difference it's the same thing once again if you want to see the actual sims i'll have them in the video description it's a 10 second difference but that in that 10 seconds af is setting up its dark lair popping its dark soul popping cds depending what the fight's going on rapturing and just blasting so fight duration will vary a good bit here you've got two target you've got three minute two tar like two boss sims you've got two, two 235 boss sims here 315 325 and 345 345 you've basically got your entire dark lair out your damage has been dumped into targets and aft is ahead by 447 dps but keep in mind once again if you're playing wilfrid's or a different version of destro then destro will indeed gain more value later on in the fight not every fight lasts 345 some last 325 some last 315 some last you know 235 whatever we're simming here so there's a lot of variability when it comes to builds here specs performing optimally and really just what fight you're looking to bring destro f into so tldr what do i think of the actual destro buffs today they're pretty awesome but is it going to catapult destruction into the number one spot over affliction and single target no is it going to catapult it a a ahead of af as the de facto go to two target spec not necessarily most likely no there like i said there are certain kill times on fights in just different settings where destro can indeed be better than affliction but it's it, it, it i think in most settings it's probably still going to favor affliction a good bit when it comes to like three target though this is big. This is where you're going to see a lot of the gain, which, hey, I mean, when it comes to Mythic Plus and things, that's actually pretty relevant. Three target plus, Destro has gained a lot of ground. Destro has already been really good when it comes to, you know, like multiple trash pack ceiling with Reign of Chaos, and multiple Infernals, Immolation Aura, Cataclysm, CDF, the burst-ish AOE you have. Now, even we, I haven't played the Infernal Soul Conduit build in a long time in Mythic Plus, but this build I feel also gained a decent bit of value too. There's a lot of strength that's been gained today by Destro. It's just not enough to catapult it ahead of Affliction in pure single target. Now, I don't, I really don't think at this point that Affliction needs a nerf in single target. It's good but it doesn't excel at like three or four target more than at than Destro does. Well, I, I don't feel personally when it comes to three and four targets, you're obviously not going to be able to maintain your your siphon life. You're not going to maintain shadows embrace. So you're playing things like absolute corruption. And with F toolkit being super customizable at times, you bring siphon life, haunt dark soul PS and mythic plus for tyrannical weeks or even fortified weeks on a high key with pride being a thing. Destro has a lot more of that consistent, I feel like, large AoE damage tied to your Infernal. So I feel that's sort of where Destro gained most of the value today. Now, once again, if you're playing just straight up Destro in the raid, basically everywhere, we have some people who just play Destro. That's awesome. That's great. Is it going to overtake AF? No. But is it a substantial buff? Yeah. 
like I said, single target wise, it looks to be uh, about 250 DPS or so from where it was. It went from 5150 to about 5400. And two target, you jumped a decent bit from 7300 to like 7700 or so. So you gained like 250 raw single target DPS about what let's see here uh, i don't want to mess up another florida math thing here about what 370 dps and two target so the game is definitely there i think the biggest question is, is what do they really want destro to do because obviously like let's be real here i'm not a huge fan of having affliction being our best spec in single target and two target and raid and mythic plus i enjoy playing the spec but i also like a bit of variety when it comes to you know playing warlock we're a triple dps spec but it sort of feels like aff has been you know the best spec in every setting and anyway, once again, I, I don't, I'm not trying to make it seem like I hate playing F. I enjoy it. I play it in the raid. I play it in plus. I also play Destro and I also play Demo. The issue is I feel sort of pigeonholed into playing Affliction when it comes to Mythic Plus. Obviously, I'm going to play it in the raid. My guild's progressing on bosses. But I would just like there to be other options when it comes to plus because... I mean, I like playing Destro and Plus. I like playing Demo and Plus. But when you walk in with a spec that's under tuned by a substantial amount and just can't do relatively the same damage as you do as another spec you have access to playing and know how to play it just sort of feels bad now i don't think every spec should be on the same level when it comes to every setting destro is going to have two target advantages aft's going to have you know spread council three target multi-target sustained dot based damage demo should have good single target but demo is just a dumpster fire waiting for 10.0 for another revamp but that's that's another video in itself TLDR, the, Dest the Destro buffs today are helpful. They'll help in single target. They'll help in two target. In certain places, it might actually overtake AF a bit in two target. And in three target, I think you're really going to see the scaling of Destro become pretty insane. We didn't run any four target sims here. We didn't run any five target sims here like we would from Mythic Plus. If we did, you'd see a very substantial gain for Destro. So I'm happy. I'll take it. I do wish a few things were addressed, like the Roaring Blaze not affecting Chaos Bolt. I'd like them to address Reign of Chaos as well with random... I don't love the actual RNG on Reign of Chaos. I think the best way they could probably fix it would maybe maybe somewhere along the lines of guaranteeing an infernal in your first or second like shard spending spell cast and then having it be every x shards you spend you pretty much are guaranteed what's that noise you're pretty much guaranteed an infernal that would help a lot with the consistency of random chaos and still give you that solid aoe profile and hey if you're playing inferno and soul conduit and have an insane amount of shard gen that's awesome play it yeah, that would even feed more into that build but once again that's a very very heavy aoe build so i'm happy today with the desperate changes hopefully in 9.1 we see a few concerns addressed i did indeed make my 9.1 warlock wanted changes video last week and one of the extra things i wanted was an aura buff but i also think a few little things here and there could also be addressed thanks for watching dudes i hope this video gave you all a better understanding of just how impactful the Destro 5% buff was today. Now, like I said, I I'm happy Destro's getting some love. I wish it would have gotten a little more. I hope it actually gets a bit more heading in the 9.1 with class changes and things outside aura buffs. In the end, hey, buffs feel good for your class. They're solid, they're fine. But when you have a few baseline, just core rotational flaws and issues that need to be addressed, and it's sort of, and they just go, here, here's 5%. Uh, it's, it's fine, you'll take it, you're happy with it, but it's like, oh, all right, cool. I, uh, uh, cool. This is going to be awesome that I'm, when I'm hitting a little bit harder when I'm playing this spec, it probably needs a little bit of help rotationally. Either way, we'll see where 9.1 brings us. Any weak horrors profiles add on to see here, you can grab for free off my Twitch. If you want to swing by, hang out, ask any questions anytime, feel free to do so. Let me know what you guys think of these changes. I guess the change in the comment section below and how Destro is actually stacking up in the Sims and just what you guys think of it overall. Thanks again for watching. If you want to see more wild content and help support the channel, be sure to smash the subscribe button below. Hit the like button while you're down there as well. Much love, guys, and I'll catch you all again soon on stream. Peace.